I'm probably feeling sorry for myself now. I saw some painkillers at 12, 10 to 12. She told them, I me, mean, I could have them at 12. Nobody can. I give them half an hour leeway, I wait till half past 12, because I know they're busy. Buzzed again. I said, can I have some painkillers? Nobody can. Buzzed again at 10 to 1. And she said, we're down the other end of the corridor, working this way. I said, but if you'd given me at 12 o'clock, I would have topped the pain off. And that's four hours on paracetamol or whatever it is. Whereas now you've left me five hours and the pains get worse. So now I'm on my back foot. Surely it'd be more sensible when you're asking for them to just give you them. And then they won't get rid of me, they want me to go home. And one of the conditions of going home is that your pain's under control. But they don't back to pack your tablets until they're ready. Oh, we don't do it at 12, we do it at half past. So now I'm in pain. And how do you trump? Like, I want a trump bear. You can't push a trump out, can you? I guess you do something dangerous. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I had some nice soup, carrot and coriander soup. Asked for another bowl, but they said no. Bit of ice cream and a caramel slice instead. Or a jacket potato. Or a fish burger. So needless to say, I've had ice cream. So now I've had some paracetamol. But I'm on my back foot. So it's got to make the pain. Let's worse go away. So I can go have a little snooze. It's my belly button's hurting now. No internet, no TV. Can't even Google or send pictures or chat to people on there or find out about the world. But anyway, go worse.